action. With me is Vipul Agarwal. He is the founder of Mugafi, a platform that helps writers, musicians to learn and earn. And it's a very, uh, very, very rare space because uh, people who understand startups and investments, they don't want to go so much in media and entertainment businesses. Perhaps the investments are few and far between in spite of all the uh, hype and hapola. So first of all, we asked Vipul Agarwal, why a startup in media and entertainment? So, yeah, hi Tarun. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, it's a, I, I was talking to uh, a writer yesterday and the one good thing that he talked about is that we don't know anything else. Like as a writer, the only thing that I know is to write uh, in a similar way that as a, as a person that what I love is the media industry. There's nothing else that I love and that's a core reason that what I'm, what I'm building, right? Uh, you cannot build any in any domain unless until you have a love towards it, unless un until you want to understand more, you want to grow more with the industry. I think my my uh, options or my options are very limited because that, that's what I know, that's what I want to build, that's where I want to build an impact. But I think where the idea being started is a, is a very simple uh, basic frame where I come from a tier 3 town, uh, and I always struggled in my early days to make a decent sum of money and I always thought that media, sports, all these are a great form for equalizer, you know, where uh, irrespective where you are from, uh, you can, if you if you are a good writer, if you are a good actor, if you are a good sportsman, you can always make an impact, you can, you can always make a decent money and today is the time when, when the market is more democratized, when the options are uh, far wider than what it was ever before. So there's no better time, there's no better love towards any other industry and that's why I'm here. You said you are from a tier three, uh, tier three uh, aspect of the country and now you are right at the center stage of India and uh, striking deals with governments and the who's who of Bollywood. So in your in your life, what do, would you say was the breakthrough uh, you know, moment of your life where you felt that, okay, yes, now now it's there won't be any looking back? So uh, there's no one moment. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, what time of moments, multiple moments, you know, that, that you sum across and you say that's what made you reach somewhere. And what you might look is that one night when you got up and you know that there's an insane amount of money that you have in the bank. But I think what it goes behind is increasing a surface area, which I always talk about. It, it takes me, what, 12 years. My first job was, was a call center. I've been a teacher. I started my first job with 30 rupees an hour. And from then from there to coming here i think the one thing which i've been always conscious about is is i'm increasing my surface area because you can get lucky you can break through in any space if you are increasing the surface area if you're talking to more people you're learning more things i think a constant learning uh, and there's no ex excuse for not growing you'll find a failures in life uh, as many times as you might live but if you can stand up if you can grow and if you can still aim for you know growing from there learning more trying once again one day you will surely find success and that, that's true saying right when we say that we are just at the edge when we leave and when we say we don't want to do this so not leaving from the edge uh, not leaving at the edge and keep moving ahead is where you find the uh, where you find the success at so it's not one moment it's a it's a mix of moment it's a long time i think almost 10 years of hard work which takes you anywhere uh, that that's mandatory in this era uh, so, you know, from a call center job to being an investor in more than 10 companies, being a founder of a hot and happening media and entertainment startup. So you can understand uh, as viewers how important the story is. And it's only going to go big, bigger from here. You can see that the, there is age, there is time in your hand. And uh, so one of the reasons I wanted to interview Vipul Agarwal was that uh, when I interacted with him on WhatsApp once and then through Zoom, through an online platform and clubhouse and then physically somewhere, uh, what I realized is he wanted to open a door for you very quickly. Uh, in, if, if he's just running past you and you talk to him for one minute, he thinks about how he can help you in that one minute. And I felt that as a private sector, uh, you know, in, in the private sector, we say that the bad boys are taking over everywhere. And when you go to a startup pitch session, all you can see is an investor looking for a product and how much money it can be made and sold for. There is no discussion on the character of the founder. And later on, we all complain that, oh my God, the bad boys have taken over. And so I just felt that uh, Vipul should be 
seen and heard more often and in bigger in bigger and better platforms uh, vipul tell me one thing about uh, writing at the, at your at the heart of your uh, adventure in media and entertainment as you said is is your love of arts and so are you a poet are you a writer what comes to you the to, to you the most easily so uh, again uh, before that i'll i'll take that bad boy remark so it is mostly the moment you become famous known around uh, the one thing that get highlighted are what wrongs you are doing because that's what easy to find out instead of what you have been built up how how much you have tried up so we can always look at the uh, the negative aspect of it but i think if you look at anyone who have done enough who have succeeded enough uh, have done something uh, achieved something i think a lot of hard work goes into and a lot of character goes into so uh, we just discount it and that's why everyone becomes a bad boy uh, one day so i don't know uh, like what i'm going to sound like 5 years down the line from now <laughs> but uh, i think apart from that it's i, I like writing i like poetry and uh, mushaira comes naturally i have written many like more than hundreds of mushairas across and a lot of them comes in my dream the good habit that i have is to just get up and write my dreams and uh, a lot of my idea, ideas comes from there but uh, it's it's not a forceful process you have to be in a state of mind uh, a lot of days when i'm working hard traveling a lot uh, and then get that mental space where you let the creativity flow uh, it becomes very hard to write and then the same thing which you were doing so easily at one point of time looks so hard to do and that's why uh, you say that you have to achieve a mental peace if you really have to be a most creative person in the house and Now, that's what it is about uh, there's nothing which comes easily there's nothing which which goes as a uh, very hard it's, it's it's just a moment of time you are it uh vipul uh, one of the things that you've done very success, very uh, successfully in last 3 years is pivot you know you, you first took in influencers then you did those videos with uh, manoj bajpai raskin bond and so many others will want the names as well and then uh, now you are uh, mugafi Uh, when whenever somebody achieves any kind of a success in the platform they become so hesitant to pivot they become so hesitant hesitant to change anything what uh, enables you to uh, embrace change so well so uh, it is about it's all about the one strategy i work with that you always look or live with the mindset to kill your own self right so if you are not going to kill yourself someone else will come and kill you oh. and that's something the faster you learn the better you do and in this fast moving era like i was just talking to someone uh, back in 90s there was a saying that subah ka bhula kar sham ko ghar wapas aa jaye to bhula nahi kehte but i think this era is so fast that subah ka bhula sham ko ghar wapas aayega to the opportunity lost ho jayegi <laughs> so in 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 this case uh, the intent have been same uh, the process kept on changing and that's what startups is about uh, like we started with the one basic simple idea is that we want to help creators across india to make some money uh, we seen some companies doing well invest we get inspired from some learnings that we had by talking to people around and over the time it was very clear for us that as you're going to deploy as you're going to implement more and more ideas as you're going to see more creators coming in we have to talk to them we have to learn from them and that's how our business going to grow we cannot stick on this is what you want to do and if this going to work out or doesn't work out that's what going to stick dying to we always said that we're going to improve we want to this is our goal and we are not changing from our goal uh, the path that we always have to improvise and even from now onwards uh, we kept on learning like if you look at the first batch that we did 2 years back we had what 20 members out of those 20 only 4 have done something at the end like 4 have completed the course but now in the last batch we have seen 100% attendance first time and that's all happening because we have been we have been not scared to change we we have kept on learning we have kept on talking to people and implementing those change and trying to experiment you know what's working what's not working so if you're not talking to a user much if you're not talking to uh, the market if you're not noticing where the world is going uh, you'll always find it hard to you know just stick with that uh, self ego mentality you know and just build even the market adopt it or not so that that's my thesis uh, uh, so uh, we pull one thing is uh, one thing i want to know from you is uh, you know when when we come to startup investments we generally see uh, the investments going to into the all in, into the predictable pockets iit iim xptm xflipkart guy x amazon guy 
uh, and uh, whereas there is a need for uh, the startup uh, technology to be more widely implemented for uh, for there to be a startup in every lane of india perhaps uh, so what is that uh, let's say if we just focus on the end result if if a person who's an outsider in the startup ecosystem still wants to break in what is the one uh, attribute a startup investor really looks for uh, so i think this this have become a the tag have become something the same thing that people like to look at the negatives instead of positives and if i go out and uh, if you as an investor go out and look for a tag uh, i i don't feel there is any wrong about it because what you're doing is that you have a 1% chance of success right when you are investing or uh, your 10% chance of success and what you want is the people who come with some great uh, pedigree in the past someone who have been selected for something let's say for iit someone who have worked somewhere so they have a decent experience they have seen the market working i'm not saying it's always true uh, but you know that gives you the first hand confidence that because the person have been vetted at 10 different places you know he might have a higher chances of growing he have might have a higher chances of you know uh, moving ahead in the ecosystem and that's what people like to bet on now for example if you also go out in the stock market uh, you don't pick the stocks you know which have been doing poor or you don't pick the stocks which are very new in the market you always rely on the one which have a past data you know so it's it's about the data backing uh, i come from a masters in statistics and i understand why the data is so important uh, all these things attribute to a smaller data pieces uh, which kind of helps you make a quick decision but uh, saying that uh, there are other type of attributes also you can look at you know what the story have been what he have been building what the experience in the past startups have been and if if someone is a newcomer then you know uh, how how he uh, how he is thinking you know uh, where the market is heading and as a vc you have a lot of team you know who going to work on who going to tell you the market thesis but the moment you are a angel investor i think it's about your own credibility it's about your own you know uh, finding those amazing deals your own network at the same time your own understanding of where the market is heading uh, how this market looks like how that market looks like and and then one trait in founder that how is nari the founder is and you know how uh, will he going to achieve it or not so that trust that you come by talking to the founders most often but other than that i think everyone should aware of multiple different markets and in this era it's not tough it, it's pretty fairly easy because every industry is related to each other so as a an angel uh, two things so and is that how good is the market and how deeply i invest in the market for example i don't pick those industry i never invest in those industry which i don't understand well and once you are settled that yes there is a space and there is someone who is building in the space then the second goes on the founder that you know what kind of founder he is and uh, what kind of intention that he have uh, to build this up uh, so we pull uh uh in 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 the mugafi pl- platform that you have uh, who are the people who have been associated with it uh, and uh, what are the key uh, who are the people who should be coming on to mugafi uh association like uh, if you ask in terms of the courses and the teachers that we have it's a wide range of teachers like some celebrities like manoj bajpay johnny liver raskin bond prashant khatta and do all the big names that you see around uh but if you look at the teachers teachers particularly who go through a program who comes live these are the top writers from who have written amazing movies like a kashmir files kota factory and what not uh plus a great team obviously the the teams comes from a decent experience across music writing and different space which helps which makes my job fairly easier to to build what i'm building what this platform is for is any aspiring writer musician who who think that they have a potential they have a idea they have a seed and they want to learn they want to build their career i think as a writer building a career in this era is is still easier than what it was 5 years before right you have a wide range of opportunities lying from audio writing to a youtube writing to a ott to a regional play to a mainstream so now the opportunities are not limited only to bollywood it's, it's actually expanded far beyond so you as a writer can always make a decent sum of money on monthly basis and you know have a livelihood based on your writing skills and that's why again i'm saying this is the right era to start something like this to give a try in this and we believe that as the government is also pushing and that's why we have been so closely working with many governments around us uh, we see that india is growing to be the world's storytelling capital in next 10 years you know and our writer is going to play the very very important part so if you are a writer anywhere if you think that you have that one idea you want to write on uh, you can start small uh, let's say with a short story and then eventually uh, up the paddle with short story audio stories youtube and then so on you know but i think you should give it a try so any writer musician is welcome 
So uh, I think this is going not never, never going to an end as a conversation. And the big takeaway we have is that he sees India as the storytelling capital of of, of the world. And uh, to wrap up, I say uh, I think we should go back to our roots, that is poetry. <laughs> so Vipul, is there a poem that you would want us to hear? <laughs> So there are many. Uh, uh, this is this is one thing which uh, one one poem which is close to me. I'll just say a couple of lines uh, of it. And this happens when you like in this in this fast moving world, you know, when you think a lot, uh, and the the only friend you have you can go out and talk to is your book and pen, you know. So this is one of the evenings you come back home and I have written about this that. Aaj fir kalam uthali hai. आज फिर कलम उठा ली है कुछ लिखना चाहता हूँ सो इट इट काइंड ऑफ जस्ट गिव ऑल द इमोशंस दैट वैन यू कम बैक एंड यू डोंट हैव एनी वन टू टॉक दैट्स वेयर यू स्टार्ट जस्ट राइटिंग एंड एंड स्पीक अबाउट इट आई लिस राइट इट लेटर जस्ट गिविंग लॉस्ट इट समेर सो सी कैन सी इज फ्लेयर फॉर द लैंग्वेज इज उर्दू हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश सो सो थैंक्स अ लॉट आई थिंक आई होप यू ऑल हैड अ गुड टाइम वॉचिंग इट एंड आई थिंक यू शूड ऑल लॉग इन टू मुगाफी इट्स अ रेयर प्लेटफॉर्म Thank you guys. Thank you Tarun.